Well, as the sun sets here at Cannon Park on the end of the uh, carnival, the Red Beret Hotel Cairns Cup Carnival, Cairns Cup Day was a ripper. Let's have a look at the eight races on the program today. Into a dollar ninety now. This is uh, a hot favourite here, Wicket Dancer in the first, Benny Williams stable and Peter Cullen in the saddle. All set, 12.50 the journey. Lights on. And they're off on Red Beret Cairns Cup Day in the first on the program. Bundy Boy jumped well. Wicked Dancer's out there too and Rocket Head is, uh, she's up there in the firing line with lapels. And on settling into stride, it's a pretty good race up in front. Rocket Head in the middle, lapels out wide and the favourite down on the inside going with them is Wicked Dancer. There are a couple of lengths then in front of Bundy Boy who uh, is next in the field and they were followed around them by Shunter. Then came Mrs. Dash and just underneath them Hot Top, Lollipop Rocket second last and a Secret Bang Bang is on its inside. 600 metres to go and they cast that peg astern and, and the leader here Rocket Head has got to the lead by three quarters of a length. In second placing is Lapels. Down on the inside Wicked Dancer is waiting and out. Shunter's on a forward move very quickly. And Mrs. Dash is going to uh, hook onto its back as they straighten up now. Shunter went up and grabbed the lead off Rocket Head. She's trying to fight back, but it's Shunter in front at the moment. Got clear. Rocket Head whacking away. Favourite Wicked Dance is out in the clear, but doesn't seem to be doing enough at the moment because Shunter kicked away. Shunter dashed clear halfway down the straight. Rocket Head battling on. Hot Top finishing it off, maybe get a place. But it is Shunter in front of Hot Top on the line. Tight for third, you've got uh, down on the inside Rocket Head and uh, Lollipop Rocket Flew Home down the outside, maybe in the photo. And then Wicked Dancer didn't do much, and they were followed by Secret Bang Bang, Lapels Bundy Boy, and uh, Mrs. Dash, the last one in. So Shunter, number six for Chris White, it looked good in the yard, will win from Hot Top and uh, Rocket Head will definitely get third. Six, three and seven. Six, three, seven. And uh, Lollipop Rocket should be fourth. Six, three, seven, eight. Shunter for Chris Whiteley, $9.10. That's good value by 9, 10, 2, 10. Hot Top, 360 has flown home late. Uh, and we'll get second there for Sonia Wiseman and Rocket Head for Robbie Thompson will be third. Six, three, seven, and officially fourth is eight. Six, three, seven, eight, and one wicked dancer finished fifth. Six, three, seven, eight. Shunter, Chris Whiteley, nine, ten, and two, ten. Hot top, three, sixty. Sonia Wiseman, Rocket Head for Robbie Thompson. Just went off the screen, I think it was 160. 114.89. And the margins are three and a half by a head. Three and a half by a head in the first on the program for Carlton Mid. Acutist three year old handicap over 12.50. Down in the mounting yard for presentations on 637 on the first. Uh, please note there'll be a slight delay because there will be deductions on Rizadowska being scratched at the barrier, that filly. And uh, you will get your money back if you backed her.
misprint. And uh, sound investment moves up. Misprint goes in and we're set to go. Race two for Styles Electrics. It's a class one handicap over 1,250 metres. Race two, set to go, and they're off. And the greatest down on the inside has won the start. Lord Archer and Northern Revenger up there. My boy Alex, centre red in the middle there, and coming across is Cedar Moore. And they were followed then by Misprint. Toff Rocks goes around the outside, and the one in the middle uh, there is uh, Tacey Air. Just back behind them then, second last at the moment is uh, Harvest Pride and Sound Investment has drifted to the rear of the field. They come off the uh, back now and go onto the side of the course and over the crossing at the 800, Lord Archer took up the running from Cedar Moor. Northern Revenge took the sit behind them running third and My Boy Alex is fourth the outside. They were followed by the greatest and getting up on the inside. Uh, there would have been Tacey Air. Uh, rather, then came back behind them Toff Rocks. Misprint was back third last and uh, then came getting its ears scrubbed off like a grubby little schoolboy at the moment, Harvest Pride, and back there with it, Sound Investment. Lord Archer straightened up a couple in front. Now the danger's come. Northern Revenge is coming down the middle of the track. Centre Red and Toff Rocks are trying to make their runs with my boy Alex. Halfway down the straight, Toff Rocks and Centre Red went to the lead. Toff Rocks the outside doing a little bit the better and Toff Rocks beat Centre Red. Lord Archer clung on for third and then Tacey Air also my boy Alex up there and they were followed then wider off by Harvest Pride, back behind them Sound Investment beat a couple home, Northern Revenge Cedar Moore, back behind them Misprint, the last one in there was the greatest Stevie Wilson uh, Toff Rocks beat Centre Red and Lord Archer, did uh, drift in a little bit in the uh, straight, wanted to hang but has got the prize, number four Toff Rocks Stephen Wilson Two centre red, Robert Thompson, and five, Lord Archer, Wanderson de Villa. The numbers in race two for Styles Electrics, four, two, and five. 250 and 150, Toff Rocks, so they uh, backed it in. 210 centre red, 210 Lord Archer, four, two, five in race number two. Toff Rocks came from barrier 18. By Turek Toff from Tiny Bell for A.G. Patterson, J. Patterson, A. Davidson and B. Patterson. Stephen Wilson, the rider. And uh, was Danielle Atkinson's late mail. Good on you, Danielle. You've bagged that. So the official uh, numbers. 4259 and 6. Four, two, five, nine, and six. So Toff Rocks first, Centre Red second, Lord Archer third, number nine. My boy Alex will get fourth, and the fifth will be number six, Tacey Air. The margins, a long neck by one and three quarters, and the time... 114.45, 114.45, late male gets home in the uh, second. A long neck by one and three quarters and 114.45. Down the mounting yard for presentation short and race number two.
Turn up the volume goes in, they're all locked away, set. 1,600 metres now, the journey. CSF Industries, a benchmark 60 over 1,600, the light's on. And they're ready to go and they're away. And down on the inside, Coutainville got away well and Bold Avenue. And they'll go together into this first bend. Now zooming across right from the outside of being sealed along here. Turn up the volume. And Bonnie Thompson races clear into the back straight. In second placing, Bold Avenue. Then Coutainville and Crocodile Shoes goes quickly now to third. Just in behind them, Carolina's way. Tie Boxing's up in that division. Perfect Tycoon down on the inside and Jimmy Hoffer is three deep. They were followed back behind them, then by Stanford, and the cashed up bully is last of all. Along here by the 1,000 metre mark, they go and turn up the volume as making every post a winner in it, led by two and a half to nearly three lengths to Boulder Avenue. Up on the outside, running 30s, Crocodile Shoes. And then came Coutainville, Carolina's Way, and Perfect Tycoon as she has made ground along the inside. Scrubbed up and moving forward now, uh, then came Jimmy Hoffer. Back behind them, then came Stanford, who's now starting to work into the event nicely. Tie Boxing's gone backwards and is about to be passed by Cashed Up Bully coming to the home corner. Turn up the volume, given a breather, but still led by a couple of lengths. Coming out after it, Crocodile Shoes. Stanley gets it going now. They were followed by Bold Avenue sticking on on the inside. Carolina's way. Coutain Villain Stanford is starting to storm down the outside. It's still turn up the volume. Stanford has raced up on the outside. Jimmy Hoffer starting to work into it with Bold Avenue, but Stanford at the front, and Stanford raced away. Stanford first. Tight for the miners, Jimmy Hoffer or Carolina's Way, then turn up the volume and Bold Avenue, Coutainville. Back behind them, then Crocodile Shoes out wide was Cashed Up Bully, and then Thai Boxing and the Mayor Perfect Tycoon, the last one across the line. Stanford, Braden Swaffer, $26.40 and $6. Big win that. Tight for the miners, Carolina's Way might grab second just ahead there of Jimmy Offer in a uh, photo. Number five, Stanford, ridden by Braden Swafford. Big odds, a blowout here. Good value for the extra double. Stanford, Braden Swafford, 26.40 and $6. Is uh, Trevor Rowe, Steve Shandyman and Helen Rowe. Trevor Rowe at Cairns and Braden Swafford. Carolina's way might have got the bob in to get second. The seven? Yep. Okay, the seven did. A seven-year-old by my boy Charlie from Lady Tatiana C. Dietrich and Ellie Cullen, Peter Cullen, the rider, and Jimmy Hoffer, the eight. Will, should be third. Yep. Eight is uh, Jimmy Hoffer and Manabu Kai, Savabil Centura uh, for Steve Massingham, Wayne Massingham, uh, Warren Massingham rather, S. Samuel, B.J. Clark, Terry Braun, I.G. Johnson and the Far North Queensland Syndicate managed by Mrs. P.M. Armstrong, Stevie Massingham, the trainer at Cairns and Manabu Kai, the rider. Official numbers are 5, 7 and 8. And Bold Avenue with the White Winkers will be fourth. A 5, 7, 8, 6, turn up the volume gets fourth. And one is fifth. So five, seven, eight, number six, turn up the volume is fourth. Ran a cheeky race and fought on very well. And Bold Avenue was fifth. Five, seven, eight, six, and one. It's two lengths by a half ahead and the time. One. 36.44. Be down the mounting yard for presentations. Stanford, the local victory here for the Trevor Row Group. Row Racing.
Justin Stanley in the saddle. Might be a, uh, an issue with one in the middle. Now the lights on, they're set, ready to go, and they're away. Banshee Jet in the centre away well. Regal Embrace, Texar going forward, and Sir Roland is uh, holding the inside rail and the lead at the moment. Out wider then was Hot Shot Harry, and uh, Sir Roland is up there too. Texar still there as they go to the side, and up there too uh, is next time. Just tucked in behind them was Buster Block and Ranger Zane, Regal Embrace. Banshee Jet, Penny Gamblers wide, Texer in the middle. Uh, they were followed by one strike and tap the till is last of all. They swing the bend uh, and as they straighten up now, Sir Roland has tackled on the outside here by next time. Gone uh, for the persuader as Ranger Zane looms up. Miss Esther's in the middle, Regal Embrace. Hot Shot Harry and Texer, there's right across the track. Hot Shot Harry, grab the lead, bursting through one strike. Hot Shot Harry, one strike, Texer coming late. Hot shot, hot shot. Hot shot Harry, I think, has just beaten one strike and Tex are in a great finish. Then came Buster Block, followed by Ranger Zane and Regal Embrace. They were all up there. Behind them tapped the till and they were followed then by out wide on the track, Banshee Jet, Miss Esther, Sir Roland, Penny Gambler and next time one of the last ones over the line. Hot shot Harry, Braden Swaffer, I think might have got its nose down in a photo. One strike is on the inside and Texar is on the outside. Terrific finish. The HPS Contractors Class 2 Handicap. And uh, one strike was roaring through on the inside. Texar was on the outside. And Hotshot Harry in the middle put the nose down. Two. Hotshot Harry... Number two, and that's a double for Braden Swaffer. A running double for Braden Swaffer. Number two, Hot Shot Harry. Two, one, four. And a further photo for fourth. Two, one, four at Cairns and the HP S Contractors Class 2 Handicap 950. Hot Shot Harry, Written Tycoon, Ruby Rosewin. Scotty Cooper, J Oliver, H Torpy, S Kello, N Paddy, S Shilton, B Horn, Scott Cooper at Cairns and Braden Swaffer. A double for Braden Swaffer. Numbers 214-53214, number five, Buster Block is fourth and number three, Regal Embrace was fifth. 21453, margins. Half a head by a head and the time... 55.53. Two, one, four, five, and three. We'll be down the mounting over presentation shortly on race number four.
FGF Pitchman, Class 6 plate, 1,250 metres the journey, and they're all locked away, set to go. Lights on. And a beautiful dispatch, and Mr Chaplin probably won the start here on the inside from Bow Jet and Awakenings and Snowy Mowat. Grey Zan Booker's on a forward move, and then Lou Shan, and they were followed by a wanna break free out wide on the track. And going right through is space time right up underneath, underneath them. And they were followed next in the field by flying one more, Mashani Redman, and back there toward the rear of the field is Septimo. And Riley Saga is back there with it. They're tight and compact. At the 800 metre mark, Grey Zan Booker went up to uh, Eyeball Awakenings, and they have the lead a couple of lengths to Snowy Mowat, and down on the inside is uh, they were followed then by space time in the center is mr chaplin and then came flying one more who's starting to work into it for kirk stone bojet on its outside being scrubbed up septimo's waiting a run in between runners then came lou shan mashani redmond to the outside and i want to break free will be one of the widest into the straight gray's handbook on awakening still battle it out at the moment snowy mow it and now coming flying one more flying one more surge the lead for kirk stone at the front half way down the straight. It's flying one more. Here's Lushan out of the pack storming home and Riley Saga Lushan, Riley Saga, Lushan and Mashani Redman late. Lushan or Mashani Redman and Riley Saga, they'll fight it out. Just back behind them then was flying one more. It was in the front half way down the straight. Then space time. Back behind them came Snowy Mowat, Grey Sam Booker, Septimo, and they were followed by Awakenings, Mr. Chaplin, and I want to break free. What a finish here. You've got Lushan, Mashani, Redmond storming, and they are the two most prominent. They just got the Riley Saga, who is, she has fought on tremendously in the centre. Now they're having a look here as they go to the line. Golly, this is close. Oh, I'll leave that to the judge. That's a big finish. Mashani Redman late, dived and might have got it, but we'll wait and see. Yes. I'll turn this off. Number seven, right down the outside, has got it, Mashani Redman. Mashani Redman for Bonnie Thompson and Michael McClellan in the last stride. Three gets second, Lushan, Robert Thompson and Janelle Ryan. And a great finish, Mashani Redman blew them all away right down the outside. Seven, three, 13, Riley Saga third, number one, flying one more is fourth, and number nine, Snowy Mowat was fifth. Great finish. Seven, Mashani Redman. Mashani Redman, seven, three, 13, Riley Saga is third. One, flying one more is fourth and nine. It's a nose. A nose by a long head. Another great finish. And the time? 114.31. One fourteen thirty one. One three thirteen. And one is fourth, a nose by a long head, 114.31. We'll be down the mounting yard for presentations.
and Classic Records. All in. Australasian Point of Sale Solutions Class 4 Handicap 1400, race 6 at Cairns, ready to go. The lights on, they're set. Starter has them. Might be one in the middle, a bit toey. An attendant goes in, but they let them go. Probably Hot Tempo didn't win the start. Physically Wicked and Bold Kingston were fast out. And Ahern is going very quickly to take up the running now. And Ahern will lead Physically Wicked at the 1,200. Bold Kingston goes to third. Hunter Caulfield into a nice spot fourth. And they're going with it fine and divine. Slips up on its inside. Classic Records was next in the field. And they were followed by Party Pies. Best offer. And let's go to Rio. Just back behind them then Oosthuizen. Amuleto's back at the moment, well back in the field with I'm Not Sure, followed by Hot Tempo, and Triple Jeopardy is last of all. Over the crossing, at the 800 metre mark, they travel, and it's still a hern out in front of Bold Kingston, probably about a half a length the margin. Hunter Caulfield gets creeping up to them third, they were followed then, uh, going around them there by Classic Records. Here's uh, Let's Go to Rio making ground wide and they were followed by Fine and Divine trying to track through between them. On the inside Physically Wicked is waiting and out and they were followed by Classic Records and Best Offer to the outside with Hot Tempo storming home. Hunter Caulfield has got to the lead here and quickly sets sail for the judge about a length and a half in front of Let's Go to Rio. Now coming out of the pack Party Pies and Best Offer's right down the outside. Hunter Caulfield in front. Best Offer down the outside grab them and Best Offer! Best Best offer just beat Hunter Corville, I think. Party Pies may have been third with Oosthuizen and out wide Triple Jeopardy came from a long way back. Then came Let's Go to Rio, Fine and Divine. And back behind them, Ahern knocked up and they were followed by Amuleto and uh, Hot Tempo just ahead of them. Back behind them, Physically Wicked and uh, also Classic Records. Best offer, Wanderson de Villa gets home number three. Hunter Caulfield will be second. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good on you. <laughs> All right, no worries. Did you enjoy it? And the numbers, three, five, and a photo. Best offer, Wanderson de Villa. Tom Headley, Janine Cook, Bruce McDonald, Jamie McDonald, Jamie McDonald, Leno McDonald, and RJ Shoemaker. Three, five, 13, four, and eight. Three, five, 13 and gets third. Party Pies. 3, 5, 13. 4. Let's go to Rio, fourth. And 8. Triple Jeopardy is fifth. So the numbers 3, 5, 13, 4, and 8. It's a half a neck by a length and a quarter. And the time, 124.01, 124.01. Best offer, Wanderson de Villa first, Hunter Caulfield, Robert Thompson second, and a third was 13, Party Pies, Sonia Wiseman. We'll have correct weight uh, shortly and we'll be down in the mounting yard for presentations at uh, Cairns on 3, 5, 13 and 4.
So we've had some uh, close finishes here. Just want to make mention and uh, welcome uh, all uh, people from uh, Inter... Tester time may have gone in now and uh, David Hayes brings Reva Reva into line. Babinda Electric's quality lightning handicap. 950 all set. The lights on, ready to go in the lightning for Babinda Electrics. They're set and they're away. Gates crash back, favourite platinum tycoon out well. But down along the inside, Concluder was swift into stride and went straight to the lead. Out wide, Platinum Tycoon is coming across with Hidden in Heaven. Magnitude Lad is up there too. They were followed by Casino Thoughts and Bond Temps is on the inside. Perfect knowledge behind them with Reva Reva Craig Lealdi. Then came Confronting Meteor Storm and the Grey Tester Time is last of all. It's Concluder in front on the inside. Platinum Tycoon in the centre of the track. The wheels around the corner. They go together but they are wide apart. Out wide on the track is Hidden in Heaven running on with Casino Thoughts, then confronting in the middle, and Reva Reva running right down the outside. Platinum Tycoon being punched out, it's got to the lead. Hidden in Heaven is coming. Platinum Tycoon, Hidden in Heaven on the outside, Hidden in Heaven! Hidden in Heaven and has just been confronting, and uh, third was Platinum Tycoon. Fourth tight, Meteor Storm or concluder then came casino thoughts reva reva perfect knowledge back behind the bond temps and craig leoli the last one in i think hidden in heaven and rhiannon Payne. number eight hidden in heaven rhiannon Payne. leanne ashford it's by Hidden Dragon, raced by Kenny Tobler, Mrs. C.A. Tobler, B. Tobler, B.W. Tobler and George Ashford. Eight, six, one. Eight, six and one. Six is second, confronting in the middle for Les Tilly and Georgie Burke from Townsville. Very nearly got there. And Platinum Tycoon will get third. A gallant run, Bonnie Thompson, 59 and a half kilos. A big effort. And third, fourth looks like Concluder. Six, seven, sorry, eight, six, eight, six, one, seven. Meteor Storm is fourth. Eight, six, one, seven and four. Concluder gets fifth. Eight, six, one seven meteor storm out wide's got fourth and concluder was fifth for steve wilson eight six one seven and number four was fifth margins ahead by a half a neck by golly they don't get much closer and the time for the lightning 54.76 54.76 we're down the mounting yard for presentations rhiannon payne leanne ashford the girls have won the lightning.
Mo Pichet. Red Beret Hotel uh, Cairns Cup. The field is set. The light's on. They're ready to go and they didn't hold them. They're off. And out wide, Lyrical Sun, Crimson Halo began fast. Multi facets is going through in the middle. And Lady Skills, she's going to want to lead here. Shivadali's pushing forward too, but will be caught a little bit deep here. And as they come down to the judge, multifacet led Lady Skills. Shivadali third. Lyrical Sun is wide, vaunting up on the inside, then Dazzling Pride. Out of the straight they go. And then came uh, Fast Net Flyer, who's down on the fence. In the middle is ranked, and uh, Royal Adam is a little bit deeper. Crimson Halo is wide. We just love it. Back behind them, followed by Outstrip. And the last one is Hot Saga. Lady Skills is in front and led here by three quarters of the length as they go to the 1400 metre mark in the cup and into the back straight they go. Lyrical Sun goes up on the outside of Shivadali and getting a lovely run, Multifacets is fourth on the fence and Vaughan getting a nice run behind them. Then came Dazzling Pride, followed by Fast Net Flyer and Ranked is next in the field. And uh, they were followed then by Royal Adam. We just love it. And outstrips down on the inside. And Hot Saga and Crimson uh, Halo are the last two. Lady Skills, as she did in Townsville, are bowling along. And Little Mare out in front here as they come off the back. And as they work to the 800 metre mark, about a couple in front of Shivadali. Multi Facets is third. And they were followed by Vaunting looking to run a bit of a race. Lyrical Sun's gone, being passed by Ranked. And getting up on the inside there is Royal Adam and Dazzling Pride. And they were followed by We Just Love It starting a run, trying to latch onto its back. There was Royal Adam, and they were followed next in the field. Back there behind them by Hot Saga and Outstrip dropping out of it. Into the straight they come, Lady Skills. She goes to the centre of the track. Multifacets is in hot pursuit. Fast Net Flyers getting up on the inside. Multifacets is starting to come, but it's Lady Skills in front of the moment. Now Multifacets is coming and we just love it right down the outside and Crimson Halo is starting to storm. Multifacets at the front. We just love it on the outside. Multifacets, we just love it. They hit the line. Oh, photo. Bob ahead. Multifacets or we just love it, not sure. Third could be Crimson Halo in a photo with Lady Skills who battle on really well. And they were followed by Royal Adam. And then came Hot Saga who finished it off with Ranked. Back behind them, Fast Net Flyer, Vaunting, Lyrical Sun, Shivadali, and outstripped the last one in. What a finish. It's a photo. All placings and the Red Beret Hotel Cairns Cup what a finish. We've got a uh, very close go. You've got uh, 12, we just love it on the outside. It's got it. Number 12, we just love it. A bob of the head and number 12 gets it. We just love it for Robert Thompson. Look, multi-facets, number six is second. Chris Whiteley and Robert Thompson of Cornell of this event so many times. Third, Lady Skills. So official numbers. 12, 6, 3, 11 and 4. Number 12, we just love it. Robert Thompson, second 6, multifacets Chris Whiteley. Those two jockeys have gone out of this race, I don't know how many times. Third, number 3, Lady Skills Chelsea jockey. Gallant little run by the mayor. And uh, number 11, which is Crimson Halo, which was a top ride by Bonnie Thompson, has finished fourth. Number four, ranked, was fifth. 12, 6, 3, 11 and 4, a short half head, a short half head by a length and a quarter. 
And the time, 208.61. 208.61. What a finish and what a carnival we've had. The Red Beret Hotel Cairns Cup going down to the wire. A short half head getting the bob in. We just love it over multifacets. We'll be down to the mounting yard for the presentation shortly on the Cairns Cup. So the Arab race is on here. They're coming down the straight. Have we got anybody in uh, Fiona Green here? So here's a finish coming up uh, for the Arab race. There they go. Oh, there you are. Well, they're looking for you to uh, give us an idea of what's going on here. So you can tell, tell us. Just come up. So, uh, number two, I think it was. Uh, so, I've got Fiona Green here, who's with me, is uh, with the Arab blood uh, breeding. Uh, Fiona, uh, these horses are endurance horses, so they're a little bit different uh, to thoroughbreds. Uh, and uh, they, they, they were right across the track there in the finish. That was a bit exciting. It was exciting towards the end there. Um, we've actually, I'm not sure who ended up getting first there, 
Was it number two? We think... Uh, was, it, was it Manabu? Well, somebody said sure. Manabu won it, but I have no idea. I'm not sure. I thought uh, it might have been the two. But the three dark horses were the ones that uh, came across the track, one, two, three. They're all travelled up from Toowoomba. So they've travelled about 2,000 kilometres to come up here for this race. So that was a good effort for that trainer. Yeah, to come all the way from uh, Toowoomba. Is it, is it, uh, is it growing, the, the Arab racing? Yeah, we've, we've, there's about eight, eight to ten races down the southeast um, Queensland corner that they're racing pretty much during the winter right through until uh, September. We up here at the moment uh, have got two races on for the season. We'll have another one next month. And then hopefully next year we'll, we'll, do, we'll do probably uh, three, four, five races for the year. And uh, the, the, the number of horses, number of Arab horses that are being bred in, in just Queensland or in this region, uh, Fiona, you, um, you're involved with uh, the breeding side of it. Is it growing? Is it an industry that's sort of on the move? Well, I mean, Arabian horses are very popular horses for many, many disciplines. You know, you, you've got them that are both in the endurance scene, showing, um, hacking, dressage. They're also now racing. They've actually been racing for many, many years over in... The, uh, UAE, France, America, you know, 20, 30 plus years they've been racing over there. Endurance um, has always been a big scene here for um, our Arabians and we switched over to racing about five years ago. Um, Jay, the other trainer, does a little bit of both down south, but um, it is growing. The racing um, industry for the Arabians is growing. We're getting more interest, more horses and more trainers as well. You said there's a lot of disciplines Outside of that, um, being a uh, you know a, a sturdy type uh, animal, are they used for stock uh, horses or on farms oh, at well, all? Yeah, by all by all means, yeah, because you're actually talking about an animal here that has a st stamina to keep going all day. So when you're talking their endurance rides, they're going for what up to 160 kilometres in 24 hour competition. Um, yeah, I, I don't think there's a lot of stockmen that actually just use pure Arabs. You're probably a bit, a bit cross for the stock horse Arab, but um, mainly stock horses they'd be using for that type of work. We might have to rewrite the man from Snowy River <laughs> and uh, with the Flintstones going in, it was the Arab horses that were going down the hill. <laughs> Close finishes the order of the day and they don't get much closer in the cup. We had to wait for the end of the photo. Ronnie Ryan, Janelle Ryan and Robbie Thompson taking it out with We Just Love It by a fingernail. A terrific carnival for the Red Beret Hotel Cairns Cup Carnival. Two days of great racing we had last Saturday and today. That wraps it up from Cannon Park for 2018 in the Cairns Cup.